Hi, welcome. I hope your year is progressing well so far and that you have had time to think about your goals. So this week, I'd love to talk to you about obstacles that get in our way to achieving our goals. Now, often one of the main um, obstacles and research has shown this can be fear. Now, fear has an acronym false evidence appearing real because so many things we fear never actually eventuate and take the example for a lot of people public speaking is a fear and in their minds things occur on what could go wrong one of the strategies I was given once was when you're going to speak in public don't necessarily focus on what could go wrong think about when you sit down and it's all gone well how you feel and let that be what's going on in your mind so what is fear well fear can come in many different forms one of them of course is fear of failure and that's where we put ourselves out there, we've set a big goal, but we have that, what happens if we fail? Well, you know what? What does happen if you fail? So if your goal is to lose 15 kilos and you lose 12, you haven't failed. If your goal is to write a best-selling novel and it doesn't hit that top 10, it doesn't mean you've failed. You've really achieved. So think about this fear of failure. Now, opposite to that is known as the fear of success. What happens if it works? Will I lose my friends? Will I lose my relationships? What will people think? Really? Let's just go for it. So it's all about the way we look at things at times. Now, another obstacle is procrastination. And there's many reasons that we do procrastinate. But one of the reasons is because we want everything to be perfect. You know, we want those ducks lined up. Well, have you ever watched a mother duck with her ducklings? The ducks don't all line up. She actually says quack quack and heads in a direction and everything falls in behind. That's what happens when you go and set your goals and you know, don't really know what's gonna happen. You'd be surprised how many things just fall in line. Of course, another obstacle is that moving outside our comfort zone. So think about it this way. Moving outside your comfort zone doesn't have to be giant leaps, just really small steps. Because as um, Ray Croft from McDonald's said, we're either green and growing or ripe and rotting. So don't just stay in that comfort zone. Do something to just feel a little bit uncomfortable because that is when you actually start to achieve some wonderful things. Now, of course, another obstacle is our lack of discipline. So it's how are we gonna do it? What do we need to do? And again, they can be really small habits and changes to get you to head in the direction you want to go. And then, of course, it's that fear of change, something different. So hopefully I've raised your awareness about what some of the obstacles are. Look, another great one is time or lack of time. Well, it's about making things happen for you, finding the time to make it happen. But there's many more. We haven't covered them all. As I said, it's just about raising your awareness so that you can set your intentions, put in place some action to achieve your goals. So the next video will be all about setting your goals. In the meantime, if you'd like more information, please feel free to go to my website, www.lifestylerefocus.com.au. Have a wonderful, happy, productive week ahead.